Good day and welcome to another episode of the Dog On It Trucking Podcast. Uh, who is on the show this week? Matt Richardson. And also introducing my new co-host, Mr. John Farquhar, will be joining us as well. Uh, Johnny's going to be uh, moving forward, our co-host. Um, but Matt is on the show this week and we're talking about truck driver virtual training. Matt Richardson's in the doghouse along with my co-host, Mr. John Farquhar. Matt, welcome. How are you? Morning, guys. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, I'm well. Johnny, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Matt looks good. So, you know, and he sounds <laughs> good. So I'm thinking he must be good. Hey, it's yeah, awesome. I'm, uh, <laughs> very good. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me on, guys. Hey, not a problem, Matt. We're here talking about truck driver virtual meetings. Uh, and I know that KRTS and Safety Dog has one coming up. Mm -hmm. And somebody from Summit Solutions is also presenting. Johnny, wh who is Summit Solutions? Summit Risk Solutions is some crazy white-haired guy that thought it would be a great idea to start a new company during the pandemic. <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal idea. So anyway, but we, we specialize in risk evaluations and working with transportation companies, their insurance brokers and their insurance uh, companies. So uh, yeah, and uh, I get to join you guys this, uh, this next virtual meeting with uh, doing a uh, presentation on a, oh, I think we better keep it a secret. Well, we'll let <laughs> Matt divulge, but Matt, what yes. in the heck would somebody, a trucking company want to train their drivers virtually yeah so john brought up the you know starting his company during the pandemic and that's what uh basically got us into these virtual driver safety meetings in partnership with you chris is um we realized that companies still needed to train their drivers while this pandemic was going on and while we were in the the heart of the pandemic um but couldn't bring them in in groups like they normally did for regular driver meetings so we came up with the idea, uh, along with yourself, about going virtual, uh, being able to provide it to multiple companies at the same time. Uh, and it's been a big hit. This will be, I think, our third meeting. The first two have had awesome reviews. Um, and, you know, the reason we're continuing with it virtually is, A, we're still in the pandemic, but B, we've realized that this allows companies the opportunity to get it to their drivers, no matter where their drivers are. They don't have to bring them in on the same day. Uh, they don't have to bring them into the same location. This is available live, obviously, but uh, the drivers can be wherever they are in their regular routine and still be able to participate in the safety meeting. Yeah, and, and what are the advantages, Matt, of attending live? Because one of the things I do want to mention is that drivers who can't attend live do get the opportunity for 30 days to watch yep. the same video. However, it is a recording. What would the advantages be to um, attending live? So the biggest advantage is that when they attend live, our presenters are there to answer their questions. Um, they can ask questions as at the end of the, each presentation as well as at the end of the meeting. So they have that opportunity for the direct interaction with the speakers. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Johnny. Good, good. Oh, I was kind of curious, Matt, uh, how's the uptake been um, with the, the last number of uh, virtual meetings that you've had now? How uh, attendance wise and whatnot, how is it? Uh, what kind of numbers are you seeing? We, we've had great turnouts for, for the two previous ones that we put on. Our, our biggest turnout was the, the first one we did because that was on the uh, American Thanksgiving weekend last year. Oh. Um, so that, that generally was a big weekend for us as far as driver meetings go when we were delivering them in person. Uh, and I think we had, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, around 200 uh, for that first virtual one. Uh, wow. And then we were, we were about 140 or 150 for the second one. Geez, that's not bad. That's a good number of drivers considering you can't, even, even without the pandemic, you're not going to get that many drivers together at one time. No, for sure. And like Chris mentioned, the big benefit of this is for those drivers who can't attend live on the day of mm -hmm. the uh, 
meeting they they had the opportunity for 30 days to be able to watch yeah. watch the video uh the recordings and still get that content uh, and the great educational excellent. material excellent. excellent and of course let's not forget the quiz <laughs> Uh, yeah, all, all the drivers who participate um, have to uh, complete the quiz, and it's not uh, a difficult quiz, but that's part of the documentation process sure. that we've yeah. implemented. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. obviously, John, with your insurance background, yep. you know everything's got to be documented. Yep. Oh yeah, if it ain't documented, it didn't happen. So <laughs> that's yep. right, and that's part of the part of the troubles that some of these these carriers and fleets got into when when we were mm -hmm. you know in, in the midst of the pandemic is they thought oh covid we don't have to continue with our driver training yeah. Uh, yeah. and then they're they're in broke their broker or their insurance company or their their consultant would show up and go show me the training for this past year mm -hmm. uh, and, mm -hmm. and they went what i had to do training mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's well it's it's unfortunate because you need to realize you you have to have constant education and coaching you know, and, and be, just because you can't get them together doesn't mean you can't come up with a different idea like a virtual meeting. Like this, this makes perfect sense. This alleviates yeah. that. Get them together and, con, and and worry about other concerns. We can, we can do this on, on a remote basis. Absolutely. And I really believe um, all businesses have been affected mm -hmm. by COVID and all businesses have changed to at least some degree, the way that they interact with their employees and training is one. And I, I think in the trucking industry, virtual training is here to stay um, mm -hmm. because I think a lot more companies have realized, hey, I don't have to rent a hotel room. I don't have to buy mm -hmm. breakfast for everyone mm -hmm. um, and shut my company down virtually mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. a, for a day mm -hmm. to try to do a training mm -hmm. meeting now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say the corporate world for the long, for a very long time, has had virtual training. You know, um, you still have your meetings, different training meetings, but they've always had a mix of virtual and face to face. So, uh, what's the difference? Trucking companies are incorporated, corporate world as well. Let's bring these guys. Let's help these drivers be better educated. Yeah. yeah, I think there, I think there's definitely still going to be be value moving forward in that you know that camaraderie that comes with being able to have mm -hmm. these type of things yep. in person. Yes. Um, yep. But just the the adaptability and flexibility that comes with being able to do some of them them virtually and like Chris said, not not basically shut your operations down uh, to get some of the education mm -hmm. that's required done. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, and you can't forget that usually when you have an in-person driver meeting, there's usually food. Yeah. <laughs> and, so and truck drivers, I was one. Truck drivers love food. <laughs> well, it, the other negative to in-person driver meetings, and I know this isn't kosher exactly, but it's common, the drivers often were not paid to attend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. which is so unfortunate and that's yeah yeah um when you talk about the the respect and professionalism that should go to uh the majority of the drivers that are are in this mm -hmm. awesome industry to think that you would expect someone to show up um without compensating them for their their time is just ridiculous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well and well, one of the reasons for the lack of compensation was oh you're interrupting my reset <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and the fact is, by law, you're supposed to record this as on duty, not driving. So therefore, I should be compensated. Yeah. Well, and by doing it virtually, the driver literally could be in a loading dock. Yep. Watching this yep. from the cat. I mean, I know right. because often uh, using Zoom as we do, you can see where the person is and there have been people attending from the cab of their trucks mm -hmm. uh, yep. and still benefit. Not driving. Not right. driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt, tell us what the agenda is for. First of all, what is the date for the next virtual driver meeting? September 18th uh, is the next date, and we'll be on from 10 a.m. to noon. Perfect. And what's the agenda? 
So Mr. John Farquhar uh, will be talking or doing a presentation on distracted driving, which is always a hot topic and a, an ever-changing topic too, right? Some people think, oh, distracted driving. I, I heard about that two years ago or three years ago, mm -hmm. but it's a it's an ever-changing topic. There's lots that goes into that, and it's very important to, to discuss. Um, and then, Chris, yourself, you'll be talking about uh, lane safety, uh, lane everything that has to do with lane safety, lane changes, and which lane is the safest to live in uh, and why, because that uh, that's a pretty hot topic uh, amongst drivers as well. Well, and I think it's um, controversial as well. Ooh, However, yes. so Good it's like September the 18th. Let's do an advertisement. Matt, how does somebody register? <laughs> uh, so they can contact our offices here uh, and speak to Kim Seitzma Hill. Uh, 905 uh, and again, that's she's got extension 205, uh, and that's Kim Seitz Mahill. She can get you uh, get you signed up. The to, you know just to continue with the advertisement, this you're getting a, an opportunity for amazing educational uh, information for your drivers, and the price point is really something oh. that can't be matched. Um, you know, if you're a fleet of 20 and above, you can get all your drivers trained for basically 900 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can't beat that. And that's thanks to our, our awesome sponsors. So I'll give them a plug right now. Uh, yes. Economical Insurance has been on board with us uh, with these virtual driver safety meetings since day one. Uh, we got TKT cool. Fleet Technologies and uh, John's company as well, Summit Risk Solutions. So uh, a big yeah. thank you needs to go out to, to those three companies, which is they're the main reason why we're able to make this uh, as affordable as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, any other comments about virtual truck driver training? Uh, for, for me, it'd just be for, you know, companies who maybe haven't explored it yet or haven't thought about it is just to, to have an open mind, try it out. And uh, it, you can bring great value to, to your drivers and, and ROI to your company. Mm -hmm. uh, John, mm -hmm. comments? Uh, it's, it's ridiculously inexpensive. It's, it's, if you don't do it, you're a fool. It's easy. All the young drivers today now, um, let me, let me see. I can watch it from my phone, you know, so why wouldn't I? This is easy stuff. And, and the value of education you're going to get from it, no matter what the topic, phenomenal. So, yeah, and sign up, call it. Kim, get it done, get him hooked up, pay the money, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the, the old way used to be, um, or one of the headaches of doing it virtually was that people didn't understand how to do it. And it's amazing yeah. how quickly the truck driving community figured out Zoom and they are yeah. able to do it right from oh, yeah. their smartphone. Yeah. So, yeah. Matt, can we change topics? Absolutely. Sorry. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, no, I was just echoing, echoing your thoughts, Chris, saying absolutely. Yeah. Let's change topics a little bit to something that you didn't know I was going to ask you about. <laughs> Curveball. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a hot topic right now, and I'll give a shout out to PMTC because I think they were one of the ones that um, drove the delay, not the delay, the soft enforcement of ELDs. But Matt, what's your opinion of the ELD world as it is today in Canada? I, I think it's about time that we're finally getting some... <laughs> Uh, enforcement in on it you know I feel like started going to seminars or information on ELDs were being included in seminars like three or four years ago um, that it was coming down the pipe and now now it's here it's nice that there's finally uh, I'm drawing a blank on the wording now but basically uh, we, we the ELD provider has been recognized now finally or certified mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. the wording is you want to use um, so I, I think it's a, a step in the in the very positive uh, direction, and like I said, it's about time. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Johnny, good what are see. your thoughts on see. regulated ELDs for Canada? Oh, way long, long overdue. It's it's unfortunate the U.S. didn't get on board, thinking they as big as they are, they'd be the ones doing it. So, um, but hey, kudos to Canada for doing what they're doing, and everybody supporting uh, Transport Canada to make it happen. Um, Probably the one thing that surprises me the most is uh, 
the first uh, ELD provider out of the gate is uh, a little guy. You know, really amazing. And kudos for the little guy. The ones after that. Johnny, you froze there a little bit, but just uh -oh. to give uh, Hutch Solutions, no, Hutch yep. Systems is the yep. name of that little guy. And mm -hmm. I got w a whisper in my ear yesterday that there was going to be a second ELD provider certified today, and today Ooh. being August the 27th when we recorded this. Uh, and I checked this morning, and there's still only Hutch. Uh, mm -hmm. I was told it was another Canadian small provider. So wow! Um, and just to give a shout out to uh, a few others, I am confident, and who in the heck am I <laughs> to be confident <laughs> that GeoTab uh, will be certified? GeoTab being a, a you know a significant Canadian player as well in mm -hmm. the ELD. Um, uh, field and as well as our Montreal based oh god oh Isaac uh, systems Isaac, I'm sure they yep. will also be uh, certified but I wanted to mention uh, GeoTab for sure since our sponsor mm -hmm. for the virtual truck driver meeting is yep. TK, TKT um, and they sell the GeoTab product so I had to yeah. give uh, a shout out cool. to GeoTab there anything else Matt anything else that you wanted to bring up today no, that uh, I think that covers quite a bit, guys. Like I said, I, I appreciate you uh, you having us on, um, and just again reiterate the value that companies can get from these virtual driver safety meetings for a, for a very affordable cost. All right, mm -hmm. Matt, and and I neglected to ask you to introduce yourself when we started this thing. <laughs> um, give a shout out. Everybody for... knows Matt. <laughs> Well, that's what I think, but I forget, yeah. you know, like who in the heck is KRTS? All right. So Matt, do you want to tell us a little bit about KRTS? Yeah. So KRTS is a, we're at a training facility there. We, there's a wide range of services that we provide. Uh, on one side, we, we are a private career college that has a number of registered programs with the Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities for uh, truck drive, multiple different truck driving programs, AZ, DZ, as well as heavy equipment operation and dispatch. And then on the other side of, of what we do is our corporate training side. We have uh, close to 450 companies that we deliver uh, safety training and consulting services for in Canada, the U.S., and even some of the Caribbean islands. That, Ooh, so cool. that's cool and guys with that i would say thank you for joining me Yay! in the doghouse this week <laughs> <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> thanks guys hope you both uh, enjoy your weekends thanks matt that was awesome and thanks to my new co-host john farquhar of summit risk solutions all right, join us next week for another new uh, podcast. Uh, hit, hit like and subscribe if you're getting value from this content. It helps us so much. Thanks very much. Safety Dogs out. <laughs>